Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, I thought we could do some more Discord submissions by you guys. If you're not a member of my Discord already, consider joining it down below in the description. If you have something scary to send me, put it in the Scare Bad submission channel. And if I react to it, I will give you a shout out. Today, we are reacting to three creators and there are five videos in total. So there's two of each for two creators and then just a random one-off for a creator that we've not actually seen on this channel before. The first channel we're going to be reacting to is Jack G Animations. For those who haven't been following, Jack G Animations has made a series called Project Britannica and it's talking about the old ships back in the early 20th century uh, with a bit of a horror twist to them. There's this mesh thing that somehow has gotten into all of these ships and we still don't know really what it is but there are kind of hints towards what it might be. If you're unfamiliar with this, be sure to check out the series for yourself. All the links will be down in the description down below. The first video we're going to be watching from Jack G Animations was recommended on my Discord by Florielia. Project Britannica. Origins. So once again, like I said, if you're unfamiliar with this series, be sure to check it out in the description down below. Just click on Jack G's name and you can go watch Project Britannica for yourself. That way I don't have to describe what's been happening in this series so far and you guys can go explore it for yourself. But it's a really good series. So origins of, I'm hoping it's the origins of this mesh hopefully, because we know the origins of the ships, right? What's this? It's somewhere in Mexico. No, that's a... What is that? Is that just like a rock in the middle of the ocean? Okay, we're moving back slightly. You can tell... Oh, here we go. Jeez, is that a render? It must be, right? That's crazy. Man. So what's this? Is this the Olympic? The Lusitania? The Mauritania? There's others as well. Queen Elizabeth? Oh. Okay, so this must be the Lusitania. Because in this universe, it's the Lusitania that was sank by an iceberg, not the Titanic. Or could it be... Um, it could be the... No, it's not the Mauritania. Because the Mauritania was found abandoned by the Olympic. So this has got to be the Lusitania. Man, what a terrifying feeling that must be. I believe this might be the Mauritania. What the hell happened? Is that going backwards? Right. Oh, th there it is abandoned. So this must be the Mauritania. Oh yeah, look, you can see like the, the growth here coming out of the little chimneys or the, whatever you call these, I'm guessing they're called chimneys and on the side here as well. So what, it was some kind of alien attack potentially. So I know, I believe, was it the Mauritania was sank um, by German warships? Okay, no, the Mauritania was just scrapped, basically. It became too old. Yeah, the, it was a Lusitania that was sank by a German Navy U-boat. Interesting. So the Mauritania was basically just scrapped. So for what that looked like, so, because uh, I was thinking maybe it could be, like, warfare. 
you know, the Germans use some kind of, I don't know, thing. And this is an interpretation that the Germans in this world had some kind of uh, entity. I don't know, that seems a little bit far-fetched. But then again, look at the series we're dealing with. It's about a mesh that's haunting ships, you know? Okay, so the ship that was being blown up wasn't the Mauritania. It was the Britannic. And it was sunk in mid-ocean. And then the last one we see is the Mauritania. So three ships we saw there, something happening to them. The Lusitania before it sank, but due to that iceberg. Then there was the Britannic that was blown up by something there. It's definitely some kind of aliens or at least warfare of some kind. And then at the very end, the Mauritania. I don't know what the timeline of these things happening between one another are. Okay, so we do have one more episode of Jack G Animations and it was recommended to me on my Discord by Ivo. Project Britannica. Summertime things. Okay, so this episode might actually answer some things. Twenty years. So this is an excerpt from a previous video where I think his name was Will Will McGowan. I've forgot what his name is. That's the Lusitania, right? Okay, yeah, this must be the Lusitania because if you you're matching what where what Will was on and what's happening now, Will was on the Lusitania when it sank. Here we go. Got a bit of a Lord dump here. So this was what we saw before in Origins. Here we go. Let's just see if this. Okay, hang on, let's go back just so it's all lit up. Okay, what's it? Immediate closure of the Tronclad ore mining site in and around the Devil's Tower National Park to take effect on July 6th, 1984. Uh, immediate termination of all employees and staff with witness the spores to be rounded up and brought for interview. My goodness, okay. Uh, Der Steinthorpe and the board have ultimately decided to now intend on the closure of all mining sites in and around the Peninias region, Peninia, Peninia, awaiting government approval from Mrs. Thatcher, who was the Prime Minister of England at the time, and her cabinet before public announcement. Further witnesses of the spores from the Pens Penin... I'm guessing that's Peninia sites to also be rounded up and brought in for interview the board will decide what to do with the interviewees afterwards that's terrifying okay so something to do with this mining and you got to think how were ships operated back then they were operated by coal right so they were these guys were obviously coal this was a coal mine and they were using the coal from this island or whatever the hell this is in the ships and maybe there was something in the coal itself. Maybe there's a reason it's called the Devil's Tower. And maybe that's where this is where the mesh comes from. Potentially, right? And what's this? All this here, look. These are like things growing out the side of the ship. What does that say at the top there? Stainthorpe has now ordered the full closure of the well, I don't know what that says here we go Disdainthorpe has now ordered the full closure of something SS Olympic is that it? Olymp no I, 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 I don't know what that says my god my eyes are bad until further notice full briefing in the 
will be given on match. Oh, to be given. Interesting. So, this might be, that might be the, um, the origin, well, I mean, the actual origin of the mesh. Interesting. Summer 1987 with Friends by Anthony Scythia. We've heard that name before, right? Anthony Scythia. Look at that double deckers by Durham. June 18th. Look at that cathedral, man. Man, you don't get buildings like that made anymore. South Shields, June 23rd. Brogan the Bird. Hell yeah, look at this guy. Wow. So what ship are they on right now? Is this the Olympic? Has it been turned into... Oh, actually, 19... When was this? 19... No, it couldn't have been. Is that another ship over there? Helicopter tour, 25th of June. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's a ship like docked in South Shields. Is that the headquarters or... Oscar's dad's work, July 29th. Okay. So I think this is the headquarters, right? Potentially. There's only one ship there, though. So it c I could be wrong. There's a whole timeline to this thing, guys. And some new videos go back, some videos go forward. So you got to piece it all together. So yeah, this series is... Uh, it, you can't really casually view this series. You've got to go back through and, you know, piece it all together. There's a whole timeline that you got to look at. There's little things that maybe give you hints. And if you also have knowledge about old ships, the Cunard line, I think it's called, then you'll probably understand it a lot better for sure. I don't know if this video was before or after. I swear this was... I watched them in order, right? So, okay, I, I watched it the wrong way round there, guys. So well, I was meant to watch Summertime Things first and then Origins. So Origins is the Origins of what? That's the Lusitania, that's Britannic, and that's Mauritania. And you can see like the, this mesh growing out and it was the Mauritania that was first infected, I believe. Well, there we go, guys. That was what we have so far, the Jack G animations of Project Britannica. Like I said, you should go check it out for yourself and try and piece it together. I might need to go back and just watch the whole thing again just to make sense of it all because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts there and there's a whole timeline that you, you need to follow, basically. But yeah, go show Jack G animations your full support and we're going to move on to the next video. The next video we're going to be watching was recommended by Agatha on my Discord. They've Been Here Forever by Kashi. From the looks of this video, I believe this is a War of the Worlds analog horror, which is an interesting take. I I've, I've, can't really remember War of the Worlds. I remember like the controversy behind it years ago when people thought they were being freaking invaded. But now I'm unfamiliar with War of the Worlds lore. So let's have a look at this. Did I just say they see you? We see you. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Okay. Oof. That's not a very nice sound. Oh my goodness. Imagine looking up and seeing that. I guess it's the unknown of like, what is this thing about to do? Holy crap, this. Because they like shoot out lasers, right? Or like something from their eye. And it like, it literally incinerates, evaporates whatever it touches. Wow, look at that. You got some long ass legs on them as well. Oh, there's another one. There's multiple of them. See, this is more like it's a different kind of alien because it's almost it almost feels robotic like like it doesn't feel 
what's the word? Biological. Oh my god, is that another big one? What is that? Or is it just a ship? Is that like a huge one right there? Oh my god, it is. Jeez, look at that. They're like big ass jellyfish. Tape recordings.jar. What was that little flash there that we saw? Okay, or was that like a drawing of one of them? He's trapped us and around for years. We don't let him know what they are. And he's trapped us and around. Hang on, let me try and decipher what this guy's saying. He's trapped us and around for years. Okay, they've been around for years. We don't, know what they are. We don't even know what they are. And he's trapped us and around since at least the 1800s. They've been around since at least the 1800s. The first ones that came, they pretty much looked like. The first ones that came, they pretty much looked like square triangle, square triangle eyes. with eyes. We still don't know what they are. Still don't, are still, still don't know what they are, but they're dangerous. We survived over a hundred years with these things. We survived over a hundred years with these things. We don't really know what happened. The tripods are always around. The tripods are always around. They always come back. They always come back. No, don't say it. Tripods are never going to do anything to us. Us humans will probably be extinct by the year. Uh, us, ex us humans will probably be extinct by a year? Do anything to us. Us humans will probably be extinct by the year. By 20. Actually, no. 2005. 2005. Oh my god, look at that thing. So what, they're just chilling with humanity? Are they, what, they're just chilling? So they're just around, they're just chilling. Just hanging around. It would be cool if they did like a War of the Worlds found footage it would be very similar to um cloverfield because cloverfield ha had a similar kind of vibe right with like a, this big ass alien thing coming in and like these aliens coming in and invading the city then you see like the big creature but as a found footage like i feel like found footage adds a personal layer to it it's like you're witnessing alongside someone else it's not so much like like it's very immersive because you're alongside with them and it feels very realistic and that's the one thing that makes found footage so terrifying is that it genuinely feels real and it feels like you're having a real experience with the person who's experiencing it and it makes you think that it could be real i really liked the design of these things and like the the reveal of that even bigger one when you think you're looking off into the distance and you see one and you see there's an even bigger one in front of you. Like that, that must be terrifying for sure. But that was Kashi. They've been here forever. Be sure to check out their work. They will be linked in the description down below. Let's move on to the last two videos. So this next video was recommended to me on my Discord by Cleo. Novus Ordo, 1964 by Siltrix. So this is a, I believe a new series or it's a connected series by Siltrix. It's called no Novus Ordo, which means New Order of the Mass. I believe this one is about the Justice League and the, I believe Siltrix is doing like a, a whole DC kind of rewrite just like but as a horror almost. So we've already heard from Superman, Batman, I believe Aquaman's been made. So it'll be interesting to see who's involved in this one here. My goodness. This is not a test. This is a message from the United Nations. Mm -hmm. Major cities around the world have reported seeing extraterrestrial objects in the sky that emit a green glow. Okay, Major so this is the Green Lantern, for sure. Cities include Metropolis, Gotham, Coast City, Central City, New York, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, London, Paris, Berlin. Oh my god, like, freaking how- they've been moving around a bit. Moscow, Tokyo. New Delhi, Sydney, Melbourne, Cape Town, Cairo, 
Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Lock all doors and windows and keep a safe distance from any strange green light source. Okay, so obviously Green Lantern is a menace in this universe. The it must be Green, Man uh, green Lantern, right? Green Lantern 2. Green Lantern 2? Do not draw his attention and arm yourself with whatever you can find. I don't, JSA, that, this guy is a straight up superhero. I don't think any guns are going to help here. They are currently working to resolve the problems. Okay. This message will be replayed in a different... Okay, that was a bit of a... What the hell was that? Ugh, look at that thing. That's disgusting. There was a bit of um, Morse code there. And then it's followed by Wrath. We'll have a look into the... What's that? Dot, dot, dash, dot. Oh, I used to know Morse code. I don't know it anymore. Do not be afraid. This is the true Green Lantern. Okay, so they've been hijacked. We have done everything for you, and this is how you repay us. God, my right ear is really loving this. You try... Tried everything to stop us. Well, that's a very strange sound. But your plans failed. Right. So is this Green Lantern talking right now? I said at the start it was. Your planet has very little time. The people you called your heroes failed. Okay, who's this? Flash. And who's this in the background? Is, is that the Green Lantern? Brilliant. Why have they got like Joker smiles on the go? So humanity's doomed, basically. Let's have a look in the in the comments and see if there's anything here. Morse code in video. After they say this message will be replayed, the core the Morse code says famine. Okay, so they're gonna what freaking starve them to death. In this, the the just the whole of the Justice League are evil, and I believe they're being represented by different demons or hell creatures. Uh, Lucifer, Leviathan, Beetleburb, and Satan. Well, you, you're basically screwed then. If the Justice League decides to, you know what, we're evil now, you're screwed. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on here. So there's a new order, and I'm guessing the new order is this evil Justice League saying basically we're taking over the planet. And I think it's all connected because Siltrix is also working on a Batman analog horror, but this seems to be like a bigger problem right now batman just seems to be a little 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 player in this when you've got literally superman flash freaking aquaman green lantern you got all these two you, there's no way escaping basically because if you go out into the sea aquaman's there you go out into land you're you're basically getting killed by anybody so they're from the looks of it probably gonna enslave humanity to what purpose I don't know, just because they can. Maybe it's like an Omni-Man thing. But the last video we're going to be watched wasn't recommended on my Discord, but I thought we could end with it because it's a new upload by Siltrix. So let's get on with it. Sinners and Butchers, 1964, by Siltrix. 
Okay, so this is the last video we're going to be watching today, guys. Be sure to go check out all the creators in the description down below. Go support them, go watch the videos for yourself, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're ending with Siltrix, Sinners and Butchers, which is a Batman analog horror. If you haven't been catching up with the Batman analog horror, then go check it out for yourself. I'm pretty sure there's a playlist on Siltrix's channel that you can go check out. And let's just jump straight into this. Here we go. I don't know who's going to see this. So I think in the last video, just a little thing, uh, the, there was a fire at the Wayne Manor. The police called the bat dead. They, they announced him as dead, even though he's not, apparently. And ever since, crime has been running amok again. And Joker has m risen, basically, and killed like over 30 people or something like that. I don't know what to do anymore. There's no escaping, it seems. And if I want to go anywhere else, another freak is going to try to get me. I was thinking of moving back to Switzerland, but then the order would try and turn me into their Azrael. I still go by the alias Azrael. I just don't follow the order anymore. Okay. I'm going to have to search into this. Even though most people believe the bat is back, crime hasn't gone away, unlike when he first came. His latest work was of the pig butcher. Oh my god, he's flayed them. It seems he replica replicated an old Norse. Oh, this is called the... Um, oh, what do they call this one again? An old Norse ritual when they they break the ribs of the back. And like they... they I think they, they cut the skin of the back. I think it is. They tear the skin so it looks like... What do they call that? They, 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 they make you look like an angel, basically. There we go. It's called the Blood Eagle. Okay, so this is what this is what I was trying to explain. Blood Eagle, a gory and brutal ritual those warriors are said to have performed on their most hated enemies. The ritual allegedly involved carving the victim's back open and cutting their ribs away from their spine before the lungs were pulled out through the resulting wound and they were, like, hung over the shoulders. Or I don't know. If that's true... That's mental. But you know what? We've seen back in like medieval times and stuff, people just love torturing people. I don't know what it was. We were depraved beings back then. After breaking out, I haven't seen the bats, but I've seen glimpses of the missing sometimes. But it seems everyone I have talked to has seen the bats at least once before. Here's a photo a witness took. ominous. Why is he just stood there in the middle of an alleyway? He's gotten so well known they're featuring him in a TV show. Not only are criminals being killed, but two of the missings were also found dead, seemingly killed with a cane. Duke Thomas, Helena Bertinelli. Both were presumed murdered by a famous criminal. The Bertinellis have been hunting the killer ever since. I'm at the point to just keep myself locked in my home from now on, because I'm being stalked, but not by Batman. But by Dick. Here's a photo of him on my roof. Well, that's very ominous. This was one of the many times I saw him. I saw him kill the Mad Hatter as well as Victor Zaz. Even though the bat and his robins go on, go and cause more harm than good, I don't really blame them for killing murders, but at some point it crosses a line. One night Dick broke into my house and attacked me. I don't know why I did I don't know why I did it. I was probably just desperate. This was his outcome. Oh my god, you killed Dick? You beat the shit out of Dick? He beat the shit out of Dick. They never caught me for doing it. They think it was the Joker. Why could you put a smile? I felt terrible about it, but I did it in the name of God. After the, this incident, I fully took on the role of Azrael. I'll search up who that is after this, just so I can get a bit of context. 
So far, I've taken down two criminals. Firefly and Killer Moth. Oh my god. This time I'm going to make sure the bat stays dead. God will let me prevail. Julius Imperium Facio. Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll look in the comment section. Have a little look. Okay, so it tran that ending translates to I do not rule anyone but God. Mammon will fall with other sinners. And I'm guessing Mammon is Batman. He is responsible for taking the souls of the deceased away from the body. Azrael does not act independently, but is only informed by God when the time is up to take a soul. So he's basically doing God's work. Okay, so in DC, Azrael is a name given to the champions of the Amaral Catholic Extremist Guild, the Order of St. Dumas. Azrael acts as the deranged agent of the Order, often serving as an ally and enemy to Batman due to his violent, diluted moral system and homicidal tendencies. So he's a good guy and a bad guy. Okay, so this guy says that it was Dick that was stalking him, right? And the only Dick I know in this is Richard Grayson, and that is Nightwing which is another Robin that turned to Nightwing. Is, I don't know, is that a villain? Dick Grayson became Nightwing after Batman fired him from his own mantle of Robin for getting shot by Joker. So I'm, I'm not sure if that means he's a bad person or not, or if this Dick or if this Richard Grayson is working with the Bat, potentially, and this Azrael guy is a good guy. It's all a little, little bit weird right now because what was meant to be bad guys are somehow good guys or good guys are turned into bad guys. The, the world is very strange at the moment. It's all up in the air. But there we go, guys. That was Siltrix and that was the ending video of this video. So once again, guys, if you enjoyed all of these videos or any of these videos, be sure to check out the creators. They will be linked down below. Go show them your full support. Um, phenomenal creators really creative and obviously these ones are a little bit odd because we're kind of watching them in the middle of a timeline so it's not like a casual viewing you know you gotta have memories of past videos in your head whilst watching them which um is a little bit um you know it requires a little bit of brain work especially like this and jack g animations the one in the middle was a nice little break a nice little just oh this is pretty cool you know just a one off um but yeah, be sure to go check out those videos and those series on their own just to make a little bit more sense of it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, rate and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.